What is going on, everybody? It is an exciting day. It is always an exciting day when we have Flightscope Golf app update. So let's dive into it. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you. Had to get into the studio today. Weren't going to be here originally, but you know what? When an app update comes for the Mevo Plus, I'm always excited. I wanted to get in and test it out, see what else is new going on. And this is a, it's a significant update from kind of some bells and whistles type of features, but you know, also tried out some of the issues I've been having in the past with like a driver. You know, can't tell yet. I've got some thoughts about it, so we'll go over those here in a little bit. Before we do that, make sure you click that subscribe button, going over your golf swings, drills to use with your Mevo Plus. Make sure you don't miss out on that. Click that subscribe button. So, first things first, let's get into updating the app. If you haven't done so already and you don't know how to update an app, you just go into the app store and then mine is set to auto update so it automatically will do it for me. But uh, you would just click it on your profile and update the app. Now one note, I did have to update my iPad which hadn't been connected to the internet for a little bit. I did have to make sure I was on the OS 14, iOS 14 uh, software update within Apple. So I did have to do that first with my other iPad to make sure I could download it. It wouldn't update to the latest version unless I did that. So not sure if that's why, but that's what I did to be able to get into that latest version of the FS Golf app. Now, let's get into what we see with this one. So Flightscope sent an email out to everybody letting us know what they were doing. First thing, they added a wind button when you are in outdoor mode and you're going to be using the environment features so you could actually control the wind right there on the screen. Now, we're not going to be doing that because we are not able to hit outdoors at the moment, so I won't be doing that today. But they say they fixed some carry distance issues. That could be promising for the driver part. I've never really had any issues with using any other club and how far the ball was carrying. But uh, I know some people have said they have, but I love that they're always working on that part and trying to make sure the unit is, is, is as accurate as possible. Now, this other thing that they did, which is user interface improvements. This is by far my favorite part. And we talked about this with them. They mentioned that this was coming when they were here a few weeks ago. They did say they were gonna be adding a little bit of a different look to the range. And I love it. I couldn't stand that other range you had where you were like up above and off to the side it was really hard to get a perspective of the ball and so they went to something that i'm more used to as an x2 user is they went to a range right behind the ball huge then they have a very simple top down they have a very simple side view as well you can get that perspective range as well that's what they call it but i'm pretty much always going to use it on the mode behind to me that makes this my go-to app that i'm going to use all the time i'm not going to go into e6 and work on my game because i want to see a more realistic flight i'm going to just get into the fs golf app which is much quicker and i'm going to be able to save all that data all that good stuff so Great job by Flightscope to put this in. It's been amazing. Used it already with a student in a lesson. They loved it too. It worked fantastic. So great job on that. The next part is looking at just the carry distances. So again, in my lesson I had, carry distances seem pretty normal. Um, in when I was hitting shots, seem pretty normal. We got to hitting the driver. This was the big one that I've always had issues with. With my unit was I would always see a high, high launch. You know, we'd see like 25, 30 degrees of launch and we would see the spins be up like around 4,000. So I hit some drives. Now I'm not at 100% right now, but I did see the, the launch angle was seemed right on the money. That seemed pretty good. The other thing was I did see the distances I, again i'm having a hard time telling right now because i'm not 100 percent i did play a few weeks ago in michigan at not 100 percent and it did match up with what the ball was going there it was also very cold like under 40 degrees at certain points so again kind of hard to judge i'm interested to hear what everybody else is getting as far as the driver is going with their setups Future Scott here, I want to interject here. So when I first made the recording earlier, I went out and hit some balls afterwards. Two other things I wanted to point out. One, I did hit some more drivers. The carry was definitely getting up there. I was up to like 270 yards, which I do think is about the max I could do right now, especially with the way my swing speed was. I did see my spin numbers drop just a little bit. I was down about 3,200. So getting better on that front looking a lot like the drives I was hitting when I played just a couple weeks ago. 
Second thing, they did have this, it is, I don't know if it's a new feature, but it's an upgraded feature to the grouping when you go to the top view inside the user interface and you start to group together all your clubs you can get the dispersion circles around all of them just a cool it's a little bit easier to look at and a little bit easier to watch or to you know it just looks better with the new user interface so just wanted to put that in there and let's get back to it now as far as shot shapes and accuracy i did see that what I felt like I hit, the ball was doing that. You know, if I hit one and it looked like it went left and was gonna keep going left, that's what it felt like. You know, and I've been hitting enough of those of late on the real golf course, so I feel like I got a good handle of it. But, you know, that part seemed really good. The only thing I saw was my spin rate was still high in 3500 range. I couldn't get that down. Um, Again, could that be me? I, it could be, but uh, not so sure about that. So we're gonna, I'm asking if you have any feedback on that, I'd love to hear what you're getting as well. Leave a comment down below, but uh, that's what I was getting so far. So again, love the launch angle part. That part of the equation for me is working really good. That's what we wanna see is improvements. The number for not hitting it particularly well and not hitting it um, at full speed, I am hitting it as far as I was, you know, in that 245, 250 range, which is what I was hitting my driver when I was 100% full speed. That's why I was hitting it back then when I was having those issues with the high launch. So I'm optimistic about it and seeing those numbers going up. But again, we'll have further tests on that. So really cool updates. Wanted to update you on it. Make sure you check it out. The new range feature right out of the park. I mean, that could have been it and I would have been just jumping for joy. That's so important to me and I love it. So so really excited for that and continuing to use that. But let us know down below if you try it out. What's your favorite parts of it? Do you like it? Do you not? And uh, leave some feedback. We'll love to hear it. So again, thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button. We'll have more and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.